How to reduce tongue swelling. A swollen tongue can be a medical emergency because it affects your breathing, as in an allergic reaction or anaphylactic shock. For a non-emergency situation, you can treat your tongue at home, though you should follow up with your doctor. You can take an over-the-counter medication and apply ice to ease swelling and discomfort. If you've recently gotten a tongue piercing, expect to experience swelling for at least 3 to 5 days with continued improvement. Proper piercing aftercare can help keep swelling to a minimum and prevent an infection. For persistent or severe swelling, or if you suspect an infection, schedule an appointment with your doctor. If tongue swelling makes it hard to breathe, seek emergency care. Providing home care. Take an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medication. Ibuprofen or acetaminophen can reduce swelling and relieve pain. Take your medication according to the label's instructions. Avoid drinking alcohol while taking acetaminophen. Mixing them can result in liver damage. Avoid drinking alcohol while taking acetaminophen. Mixing them can result in liver damage. Apply ice or a wet, cold cloth for 20 minutes. Wrap ice or an ice pack in a clean cloth, and hold it to your tongue for 15 to 20 minutes. You could also use a cloth soaked in cold water, chew on ice chips, or suck on a popsicle. Apply ice, chew ice chips, or consume a cold food or beverage throughout the day as long as you experience tongue swelling. Apply ice, chew ice chips, or consume a cold food or beverage throughout the day as long as you experience tongue swelling. Take an antihistamine if you suspect a mild allergic reaction. Call emergency services if you have a life-threatening food allergy, have trouble breathing due to tongue swelling, or experience any other severe symptoms. If swelling is minor or comes and goes, it might be due to a minor allergy. Try taking an over-the-counter antihistamine medication. Take any medication according to the label's instructions. Note which foods and beverages you've consumed that might have caused tongue swelling. See if avoiding those items improves prevents flare-ups of tongue swelling. Take any medication according to the label's instructions. Note which foods and beverages you've consumed that might have caused tongue swelling. See if avoiding those items improves prevents flare-ups of tongue swelling. Brush your teeth with a soft bristled toothbrush. A hard bristled brush could irritate your tongue, especially if you accidentally bit it. You still need to maintain your oral hygiene, so brush twice a day with a soft bristled toothbrush. Additionally, your toothpaste might irritate your tongue if it contains sodium lauryl sulfate. Check your toothpaste's label and switch products, if necessary. Additionally, your toothpaste might irritate your tongue if it contains sodium lauryl sulfate. Check your toothpaste's label and switch products, if necessary. Gargle with salt and warm water if you bit your tongue. For swelling due to trauma, such as accidentally biting your tongue, use salt water to soothe and clean the wound. Mix 1 quarter teaspoon of kosher or sea salt with 1 cup 240 milliliters of warm water. Gargle after meals and before you go to bed. The iodine in table salt can irritate cuts, so stick with kosher or sea salt if you bit your tongue. The iodine in table salt can irritate cuts, so stick with kosher or sea salt if you bit your tongue. Avoid hot, spicy, or acidic foods and alcohol. Irritants, such as hot temperatures, spicy foods, and alcohol can worsen the swelling. Stay away from hot coffee or tea, chili peppers, citrus fruits and juices, and alcoholic beverages until your tongue feels better. If you use mouthwash, make sure it doesn't contain alcohol. If you use mouthwash, make sure it doesn't contain alcohol. Quit smoking, if necessary. Using tobacco products can cause the tongue and taste buds to swell. If you're a smoker or use tobacco products, work on limiting your use or try to quit. Talk to your doctor about products that can help you quit. Talk to your doctor about products that can help you quit. 